Hello and welcome to Shorts. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate Java's built-in robot class, which is mainly used for the automation of testing and the creation of demos. The challenge I'm going to be completing is drawing a sine wave in Microsoft Paint. I'm going to start by creating a new class called main and ask Java to generate a main method for me. I'm going to create another method, another class called autoclick. And the sole purpose of this uh, class is to house a number of functions, a number of methods, which are going to be uh, complex uh, operations built up from simple, basic operations, methods, which are given in the Java robot class. Let me demonstrate. I'm going to create a public static void left click. This method is going to take a robot object, which I'm going to call robot. I'm going to import robot.awt. And I'm going to do the following robot.mouse press. And I'm going to set the argument to input event dot bottom one down bottom one underscore down underscore mask and this is the left mouse button. This is going to press the left mouse button and I'm also going to have to release the left mouse button. And this is the code necessary for a single uh, left click. Now for a double click, I'm just going to copy and paste this, change the name to double, left click, and I'm going to copy and paste it one more time. And this way I'm going to be clicking my left mouse button twice. Now, as you can imagine, you're going to need one for the right click and for the alt click and the control click. So a lot of uh, space can be saved by creating methods similar to these for other operations, which you're going to be using frequently in your code. Now I'm going to create a new uh, class called program and program is going to house my so-called script. I'm going to need a number of uh, uh, class variables. I'm going to need a private robot robot. I'm going to need a private auto click called auto click. And I'm going to create a private uh, runtime called runtime. All right. Now I'm going to create a method, uh, public void draw sign, and this method is going to draw a sine wave. So, the first thing we're going to do here is going, going to have to initialize a few variables. Instantiate a few variables first, then initialize them. We're going to create a variable called xset. I'm going to set this equals to 1100. And I'm going to create another integer called yset and set this equals to 500. Now this position on my screen is just about here. And this may be at another point for your screen. So you're going to want to position this to a place where when you uh, open Microsoft Paint by default, it's going to, uh, this point is going to appear on the canvas at a suitable point to start painting a sine wave. 
So that's what these uh, uh, integers do. I'm going to set uh, create another integer called x and set it equals to zero, and another integer y, and I'm going to set this equals also to zero. And these are going to be uh, the variables of my sine wave, which I'm going to be manipulating to draw the sine wave. I'm also going to need a double called alpha. Uh, I'm going to set this equals to zero for now as well. And I'm going to set runtime equals to run mm, runtime dot get runtime. All right. Now I'm going to set robot equals to a new robot. Oops. And the Java is going to give us an error at this point because we have to surrender the try catch because this bit of code cannot be executed in all cases. The next uh, next thing I'm going to do is uh, set runtime equals to no. I'm going to call the execute method. And I'm going to be executing. Uh, ms paint dot exe and this is going to throw a uh, we're going to surround it with the try catch it's going to be throwing in io exception and i'm also going to demonstrate that in case you want to open for example google chrome you're going to have to write the uh, the location of your program thus wherever it is for you and I think the reason for this is that MS Paint is a built-in uh, uh, program while Google Chrome is installed so that, that's the difference I'm just going to comment this out for now because we're not going to be needing it the next thing that we're going to do is uh, we're going to set a robot.delay and we're going to delay for one second. And the reason I'm doing that is, is that our robot class doesn't see if our uh, Microsoft Paint has opened or not yet. It has no feedback whatsoever. So I'm just assuming that it is going to open under one second. If for some reason your computer doesn't open uh, Microsoft Paint in one second, you're going to have to set this to a higher number. For example, uh, 10 seconds. But I'm going to go with one second for now because it works for me. The next thing that we're going to do after we wait uh, for a given amount of time is to position the mouse. So we're going to set robot dot uh, mouse move, and we're going to uh, set this to the x set uh, to the x yes x and y set which we have given up here to be a position on the screen which for me is in this general area the next thing I'm going to do is uh, uh, call auto click dot left click and this is just going to activate my uh, my uh, Microsoft Paint window. I'm going to get rid of these empty spaces. And then I'm going to have to click my mouse onto the canvas of Microsoft Paint. So we're going to set mouse uh, robot dot mouse press. And for condition, we're going to set input event dot the left mouse button and now we're going to be clicking onto the uh, canvas of Microsoft Paint and now we're going to have to draw the sine wave which I'm going to do in a loop in a for loop 
i is going to be less than 160 360 increment i the first thing we're going to do is we're going to move the robot move the mouse with the robot and we're also going to want to add our x set and our y set because remember x and y are just simply zero so this is going to be setting it to the origin of our uh, coordinate system which is going to be just about here as I mentioned before and now we're going to manipulate x and y we're going to set y equals to math.round and the reason I'm using round is that uh, we're, we're going to be using doubles obviously and uh, we're going to have to cast it to an integer eventually but I think cast has a uh, I think cast is is not exactly precise I think it always rounds up so if you have a number like 1.1 it's going to round it to 2 I'm not sure actually, but that's I'm using map.round to round it to the correct value mathematically. I'm going to round, I'm just going, this 100 is going to be the amplitude of my wave. Math dot sign. And the degrees is going to be alpha. And we're going to cast this to end. Alright, so this is going to be our y component. Our x component is simply going to incre be incremented. Now, this is going to be kept on incrementing forever actually, but this loop is only, to, only going to execute 100, uh, 360 times, so x is going to be 360 by the time we're finished. And as for alpha, which is going to degrees, we're going to uh, Increment alpha by two times uh, math dot pi divided by three sixty multiplied by one. Now multiplication by one doesn't do anything. I'm going to show you how by changing this number we're going to be changing the uh, frequency of our sine wave. Uh, under 360 pixels Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to set robot dot delay and the reason I'm adding a delay is so we could visually see each and every uh, motion of the mouse happening so it won't happen in a flash and I have pressed the mouse I have Draw on the side wave and now I'm going to release the mouse. That's weird. Alright, I think this is done. Now my main method. I'm going to create a uh, program. Prog equals new program. A new object from my program class. And I'm going to set prog dot draw sine wave. And now if I run this, it should open paint and we are drawing the sine wave. Excellent. Now, uh, don't save. I'm going to close this and I'm going to show you what happens if I change this uh, variable to, for example, 10. And I'm going to be changing the amplitude, which I said I set to 100. Where is it? I'm just going to set this to 50. And I'm going to run this again to show you the difference which happens. All right, I have made this video because I'm going to be experimenting with this uh, with this class later on, and I'm going to need some basics for that. I hope you found this uh, useful. 
and uh, I'll see you in the future. Thanks for watching.